This is a problem on vertical curves. Specifically, we're asked to determine the elevation and station of the high point of the center line of our highway. We're told that there's a curve on this section of the road that connects an entrance grade of 5.3% and an exit grade of negative 2.6%. The PDI of the curve is located at station 47 plus 55.61 with an elevation of 684.32 feet. The PVC is located at station 41 plus 55.61. Just as a reminder, we're going to be solving the parabolic equation for this. We know anytime we're asked for elevations, we're going to need to apply the parabolic equation as it relates to a vertical curve. And we've got the component C, which is the elevation of the PVC, B, which is just G1, and A, which is G2 minus G1 over 2 times L, Y equals C plus BX plus AX squared. There are two common sources when solving the parabolic equation for vertical curves. One is that grades need to be in decimal, grades were put in decimal form instead of percent. So a grade of 3% should be input as 3, not 0 0.03. So make sure you put grades in percent instead of in decimal, decimal form. Another common error is putting the length in feet instead of stations. So a length of 1,000 feet should be input as 10 stations, not 1,000 feet. We were asked to find the high point, so the equation for the high point of a vertical curve is based on the derivative of the parabolic equation, which will give you the slope. Setting that slope equal to zero allows it to solve for that higher low point. We can do that basic calculus here, and then our equation x sub m is the distance from the PVC. It's not the overall stationing. We're going to have to add the x sub m to the PVC station to get the station of the higher low point, and that equation is g1 times l over G1 minus G2. So now working on our specific problem here, I'm going to start by putting in our givens. We were told that the PVI was at station 47 plus 55.61 at an elevation of 684.32 feet. We also have our PVC station that was given as 41 plus 55.61, the entrance grade of 5.3%, exit grade of negative 2.6%. And again, as we just as I just covered, it's important to put those values in as just 5.3 and negative 2.6. Don't put those in decimal form. So now we need to just start solving. One of the things we're gonna need to know is the length. Because we're given the PVC station and the PVI station, we can take that distance and multiply by two. That's gonna give us a length of curve overall of 1200 feet or 12 stations. Again, the 12 stations is what we'll wanna use for our parabolic equation. A is G2 minus G1 over 2 times L. So we're going to plug in the values there and get an A of negative 0.329. B is just G1, so that's 5.3. And C is the elevation of the PVC. So we're going to start at our PVI elevation that was given as 684.32 feet. And then we're going to subtract off G1 times that distance. So 5.3 times six stations gives us a PVC elevation of 652.52 feet. Now we have our parabolic equation, y equals c plus bx plus ax squared. So y equals 652.52 plus 5.3x minus 0.329x squared. We need to find for that high point. So x sub m is negative g1 over 2 times G2 minus G1 over 2 times L. I saw a, a, a shared a separate value there where we can cancel out those, those twos. You can use it this way as well. Solving for this, X sub M is 8.0506. So plugging that value X sub M into our equa parabolic equation, Y, we're going to get 652.52 plus 5.3 times 8.0506 minus 0.329 times 8.0506 squared gives us an elevation of our high point of 673.85 feet. We want to know where that's located, so we're going to take our PVC station, add to it x sub m, and get a station of 49 plus 60.67. So the complete answer to this problem is that the high point occurs at station 49 plus 60.67, at an elevation of 673.85 feet.
and that's approximately the location. The higher low point always happens on the side of the PVI with a flatter grade, so we should expect the station of the high point in this case to be beyond the PVI, so the station should be ab above station 47 plus 55.61. It is in this case, so just a quick check that your work is uh, correct.